Ring game taking over, that's a promise, not a threat. Uppercut, season, north top, you stop breathing. Uh, two fights we gotta preview real quick too, cause you know, and they're good fights on top of that. You yeah. know, the best, I mean, the best fight this weekend, of course, comes from, you know, matching. We got one Lee Wood defending his title against one Josh Warrington, you know, and, uh, you know, Styles fight, this could either be a brawl and a half or a foul fest and a half or both. You know, the, it, it is what it is. Like, you know, because Warrington is, you know, he's been on some shit lately. It's, this is, this is going to be a foul fest. But at the end, he's gonna get knocked out. So War Warrington's getting Warrington's getting knocked out in like seven or eight. Right? I'm, I'm not gonna give this too much time, too much of my time. He's done. He's at the end. He's at the end of his rope. Lee Wood will finish him. Off. If Lee Wood keep that jab on him and just box like he did the lower rematch, I see the same thing. I I give a nine round knockout because because Warrington is scrappy and he eight, does move his head eight, and he does move round, head yeah. into different foreheads like you know that, that yeah. he he will lower his head he does it all the time he's been doing it like for the last four five fucking fights yeah this is one of those middle round prop bets <laughs> like it, i feel like the fight could end anywhere between six and nine or some shit pilot what about you uh, i'll say i pick Lee Wood to win this fight um, by decision. Yeah, and, uh, and honestly, I think that too. I, I think that too because I'm not saying Lee Wood does have he does have more than enough pop. If if he was gonna score a knockout, I think it would be late. Like he's like it'd be like in like the last three rounds of the fight he was going to do. I, I, like so, Warrington. I mean, because Lee Wood doesn't have like Laura power. Like Laura has you know that type of where you can get someone out of there. His is like he has to probably grind you down, pause a little. Yeah, bit. but he's, he's gonna he's gonna land enough accumulation on Warrington that by the by that seventh eighth round it's gonna start getting to Warrington. Yeah, because because Lee Wood lands clean, flush, sharp shots, and and he's not like these niggas who just only land one or two shots a round. Like he has a decent, steady work rate, so he gonna land some 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 nice ones on his ass. Like yeah, it's gonna pile up. Yeah. Yeah, but I think they gotta make sure they have a copy of the ref because it, it'll be it would suck though if they, it'll be like the second Warrington Laura fight. These niggas clash heads I, I don't and know. one of them gets like a big ridiculous ass cut. Yeah, so someone has to make sure to keep all that shit, like, keep all that shit in line. I've been like some Bill Con British fight card. Like I, I try, yeah, I didn't watch the Open Tia Thompson fight at all. I didn't watch none of that card. Like I'm not those British cards. Are, I, they can't fool me no more. But I watched this one because it's time to fight. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not excited for it. I ain't gonna lie. Hopefully it's good. But. I mean the fight, the main event is good. You know, like I mean, it, it's a, it's a good, it's a good. I mean, honestly, it's a good solid fight because this is what Eddie wants all along. The lower shit was just you want that, you want that for a minute, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the lower shit was just some shit because he had to, you know, had to find some way of keeping Laura in the match room. Well, right? Eddie, Eddie wanted it for two belts, though, like, but you know, obviously, uh, Bernardo Lopez made sure that didn't happen. But I'm, I'm sure Eddie wanted his unification, but whatever. Still no, no, Eddie just Eddie wanted a belt between well, fucking Wood and Warrington. And it couldn't happen if both guys got knocked out by Laura. <laughs> so it's yeah. like, you know, he, so he like, tried to save him. It's just Lee Wood, the only one who really did it. Like, yeah, the, you know, Warrington, Warrington didn't want no third fight. Warrington avoided that third fight and got his belt took anyways. <laughs> so, yeah. no but I like that Lee Wood's active because, like, if he would have never lost a Laura fight, just imagine what other fight we would have got if he would have fought three times. Yeah, exactly. I mean, he's fighting three times, but you know, two, two of the two are the same person. But that's quality. It has, he he did fight both times. Lord, we did fight both times. I keep on forgetting. It feels like I knocked out last year. <laughs> that, that's a shit. That's a crazy fucking part. Like. Like Lee Wood fighting three times, I can't get one fucking Keith Thurman fight. Really, really? Soon enough. Soon enough. Damn. Yeah. You know, so I mean, like, like I said, Lee, I mean, I, the fun things too. The only thing I'd say is I know Lee, there, there have been rumors with Lee Wood. You know, pretty much talking like he's about to retire too. Because I know Lee Wood said he's not long for the sport either. So it's just like it's kind of weird because you think that this motherfucker. Will, Damn, he's been saying that. What the fuck? Yeah, no, it has been because like, I know you say he only had like maybe a handful of fights left. And he's been saying that shit, and I'm just like, why? Like you're in the prime of your career right now. You got the fight. Like you, you, you're a commodity. Whereas Warrington is definitely near the end of his career because Warrington's, you know, is like he's he's getting old. He's getting beat up. There's only so much that uh, 
a volume puncher with that can actually do before it starts, you know, start slowing down, especially since one of them cracked his shit. So Wood, Wood probably is looking at all the punishment he's well, taken weird, in the sport. It's weird because Lee Wood is actually older than Warrant. I yeah. thought Warrington was the older one, but no, I Lee Wood. I, I, I thought I also too. Shit. <laughs> I saw Lee Wood's like thirty five, bro. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, he's thirty five. Yeah. Kinda, I feel like featherweight's kind of been bubbling. I've been trying to begin high praise of featherweight. It's a pretty solid division, you know what I mean? No, it, it is. It's just I mean, right now, I mean, right now, it's just trying to. It's it's getting its shit together, you know. I yeah, mean, at thirty five, and you're in the middle of your big fight run. Yeah, yeah you probably are going to be looking at retirement, low key. Like, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> shit. Look, look at look at Crawford, nigga. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Let me go check some Fanduel. Let's check the Fanduel odds on this fight. I want us to see what they're actually like. I know it's not New York, so I can't check. Oh, that's that's weird. You don't get that. Fuck. That, that's such a weird thing that New York. Get, I don't get UK fights in 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 New York for fans. You know, that's that's so much horseshit. Like you know, like honestly, that, that's like you know, you know they they you know they fucked you over, man. That's that's horrible, bro. Like, right, let me see what we got here. Okay, let's see. Lee Wood, Josh Warrington. Here we go. So overall money line, Warrington's the underdog at plus two fifteen. Woods the minus two ninety favorite. Method wow. of method of victory, Lee Wood winning by decision is plus one fourteen. By KO is plus two eighty. Draw sixteen hundred. Warrington by decision is three ninety, and Warrington by stoppage is plus seven hundred. So yeah. damn, is this the first time Lee Wood is the favorite? He's literally been the underdog like the last like four fights. Yeah, yeah, he was. Uh, yeah, he was definitely the underdog to Conlon. Yeah, he was definitely well, the underdog. fight before the uh, what's Zook? Uh, is it Zook? Yeah, Laura. Yeah, yeah. No, Laura Conlon. Uh, was it Zukan or someone else? Um, oh yeah, Zucan, the one, yeah, yeah. That was the one. He was the underdog on that as well. Yeah, I won money on that one. Shit. Yeah, you know. So yeah, it's uh. So yeah, at least the odds are. I mean, yeah, I mean. The Leeward winning by decision is not it's not a bad bet. It's between I mean decision no. or KO is not a bad bet. Like you know, it could happen because Warrington is uh, uh, he knows how to stifle offense, and that's either with he'll either do that with his forehead or he'll jab with you. No, no, real talk. Like Josh Warrington has an underrated jab. Like he doesn't get credit for for being able to jab with his opponents a lot. Like. Makes it That's like one a, thing he don't get credit for. He makes it ugly, like kind of like in, in a vein of Sean Porter, not comparing him. Complain. I mean, he makes it ugly, but competitive most fights. But know? the fun thing is, yeah. he never used to. Like, if you ever look at the fight with Frampton, motherfucker was putting hands on a no. Head. Thank you. Like, thank you, dude, dude. Like, he was. If you look at Frampton in that, for your Frampton looked like, like, like he just like crawled out of a like a car wreck, nigga. Like, yeah. And that was Warrington put hands on Frampton, bro, and it wasn't all that forehead bullshit. The, the Galahad fight, no forehead shit. Not even in the first Laura fight was the forehead like that, like yeah, there. He, he just he just happened to get cracked too many times, and then Warrington was like, "Okay, I got what's yeah. to my my repertoire." You know? He kind of falls falls stupid in the uh, Laura fight. Like he 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 normally uses a little more in and out movement, but he kind of just stayed in front of him, mm -hmm. traded too much. Yeah, and got knocked out. <laughs> yeah, knocked the fuck out. Yeah, yeah. In, a, in a great fight though. Like, if that fight was this, if, if that fight was going on, happened this year, we'd be calling it a fight of the year. Facts. You know what I'm saying? And then just to just a small match before I go on to the next fight too. Like, I mean, it, it does have a somewhat interesting co-main for the women's. You know, we got oh, yeah, one yeah. Terry Harper and one Cecilia Breakus. <laughs> You know, Breakus is still hanging around there. Like, I guess Breakus, like, you know, Breakus is part of that little generation along with, like, a Heather Hardy and them. And it's like, oh, yeah, they tr they try to get paid. They, tr they try to get their retirement fund because they, they put in so much work, especially Breakus. Breakus was, like, the number one women's fighter for a minute. You know? And I don't blame him. Yeah. Before the before the two fights with McCaskill kind of, like, center on her way downwards. Um but yeah, no. At least you no. Know, Breakers is going for at least try to get one more title or one more big payday because you know, like I said, she's in the Twilight career against Harper, and you know Terry Harper who's also in her Twilight career. Yeah, exactly too. So I mean, I mean, either way, that's that's still an interesting enough fight like to watch. But yeah, like outside of what Pilot said, yeah, the rest of the card is typical matchroom shit. You know. Yeah. Pass. 